Ariel Ursuto was there to see the Buff showdown with Clark. She's just too tough to beat Ariel. I don't know what else to say. She's especially disruptive because she disrupts your game plan. I mean, when both bigs, Aaron at Von Ley and Quay Miller were on the bench, they just took advantage in the paint, scored 46 of their points in the paint. Even the, even the defensive pest, Kendall Weta and Tamia Sadler, hung their heads after the game. I think, um, you know, our plan was to not let their um, other players going because mm -hmm. obviously you're not going to stop Caitlin Clark, but to not let them get going and they were. They were going and they were hot and uh, wasn't our game plan, but that's what it is. It kind of, this one kind of stings, you know. This is not some. This is not a way like any any team would want to go out. But um, I feel like we gave it our best our best um, foot forward, and they just they ended up um, completing more and executing better than we did in the stretch, and, and that's what all it came down to. It especially stings because Tamia Sadler isn't sure what her future holds. I asked the fifth year senior or sorry, the, the senior what her fifth year entails, and she said she needs a little bit more time to think about that. Now, on the brighter side, there was no hesitation when I asked Frida Foreman what her future will be. She will be a Colorado Buffalo next year. So we got one more year of Frida. Jacob, the greatest three point shooter in Buffalo's history is coming back. That's one thing the Buffalo's can be proud about. Ariel, thank you very much. Nice job all season long.